You might be in the process of doing some research on Denver, Colorado. This might be your next destination. So I want to give you guys some pros as well as some cons about living here in Denver, Colorado. And I plan to cover some topics that I feel that some people don't cover. So stay tuned. And if you guys really like these videos and feel like you get a lot out of it, please do me a big favor. Like the video, comment, and as well subscribe, you know, so you can get all the latest videos. And if you guys are planning on moving to the Denver Greater Area, you're looking to buy or sell a property, please utilize the number below because I would love to help you guys out with your real estate needs out here in this area. So in this video, let's kick it off with the pros first. Let's give you something positive to think about before we get into the negative. So one of the first things I do want to talk about is Colorado is a pet friendly state. I feel like a lot of people don't, you don't really hear that topic talk about being talked about in a lot of videos, but this, this state is a pet friendly state. It is listed only second behind or not quite sure how they determine, you know, what state goes in order, but it's listed second behind or, and as someone that has a pet that has a dog, I totally agree. This the state is very pet friendly. We always talk about the out outdoor activities. We talk about the trails you can walk, the parks you can walk. So these areas accepts dogs. You could bring your dog here, walk them, let them enjoy the nature as much as you are enjoying the nature. You might have small restaurants or you know different food chains that accept dogs coming into the restaurant or maybe have treats for the dog. And if you look in at different apartment complexes, you will see a lot of them, most of them allow dogs. You know, you never really see apartment complexes that say no dogs here or no pets allowed. So, and as you drive it around and outside, you will see a bunch of different people walking their pets, walking their dogs. This is something that's that's very common here. Not only are there your regular parks, but there's different parks for dogs. You got different dog parks here. So I would definitely agree with that, that Colorado do promote a pet friendly lifestyle. You know, if you have a pet, you're moving with the pet and it's a big part of your life, you like, if I have to bring this pet, this is no and ifs about it, then Colorado will definitely suit you. You definitely would have no problems with bringing that pet. You definitely will feel at home because you will see everybody else, you know, enjoying their pet, their dog, their cat, whatever, you know. So this definitely is a pet friendly state. The second pro that I want to talk about is the views. You know, a lot of us go on vacations for views. We see, we go on Instagram, we go on social media, and we see different individuals posting different destinations, and we, we're we in love with the view. We love how it looks, you know, what you see, and then you like, man, I got to get there. And I feel like here in Colorado, you get that view every day you wake up. You know, you it's feel like sometimes it can feel like you're on vacation. You can get to the top of a apartment complex, a building, or whatever, and you look out and you can see the mountaintops and when it's snowing, the snow on top of the mountaintop. It is definitely a great deal when if you're in photography or you looking for the nature shots, it's, man, you can get those shots. It's, this is definitely a place, if you're big into social media and love to post your destination or you love to post your scenery, this is it. You know, you this is, this is definitely that. Maybe when you move out here in this area, you don't move specifically into Denver. Uh, maybe you move in a different metro area or outside of Denver. Maybe you go down to Boulder, Fort Collins, wherever. No matter where you go, you're going to see these great views. And that's one of the great things about it. This is something that holds true throughout northern part of Colorado. You have a lot of mountain towns that's hour, maybe to three hours or so from the city. So it's like you don't have to drive that far. So not only can you see these great few views from your residents, but you can actually visit these places, visit these areas, get a close up, you know, vacation these areas and enjoy the nature up close. And there's so many different mountain towns in this area that is ridiculous. Probably impossible to visit them all. You know, I visit probably about three to five myself, but you know, it's so many different cities you can visit. So it's great because that view will stay consistent no matter where you at in this area. So let's jump into the third pro. The third pro, which I think is very important and you hear me discuss a lot in a lot of my videos is how strong the economy is here in Denver, Colorado. 
It's the number one economy in the U.S. You know, that says a lot, you know, that, that, that promotes growth, that promotes great job opportunities. If you are if you are looking for a great job, you know, you have that here. Maybe you're not actually looking for a job. Maybe you are an employer. You know, you have great candidates here because they everyone know, OK, Colorado has a great economy. Denver, Colorado has a great economy. So let me get over to Denver to find a, a job, a good job opportunity. So you, when you have these people looking for great jobs or coming and migrating to this area, if you were an employer, you now have more people to pick from, to pluck from, to, to look at and to give an opportunity to. So it's not just a great thing for individuals that are looking for a job, but for people that, that are business owners, that run a business. You surround yourself with people that have a great deal of wealth you know, it's a good chance of you succeeding a little bit more because now they're able to afford things you're maybe you're selling. You can have a, have a higher price point. You might be getting a little bit more support in a community where the economy is doing a little bit better than somewhere else. And I feel like since the economy is doing well, it's one of the best, it's a great place to get a fresh start. You know, if you're looking for something new, you're kind of tired of, you located in another state and kind of tired of that way of life and you're like, man, I need something new, new job, new home, new scenery, new all that. It's perfect, you know, because you come down here, find a job, get into something great and start your new life. I mentioned in many, many of my videos, this is a family friendly state, you know, so just having that economy to go with it is amazing, it's great. It complements each other. I have many individuals reaching out to me just telling me, man, I just, I'm taking a job out there. I'm about to take a job out there. Let me get some more information. Let me, you know, explain how this work, how that work, you know, where, where should I go? And then it's not like they concentrated in this one area. They're getting jobs, opportunities throughout the Denver metro area. So when I talk about great job opportunities, I'm, trust me, I'm not, that's something I'm not lying about. This is something I'm seeing for myself and I'm watching people, you know, reach out to me because they coming from another state because they have a job opportunity out here in Colorado in Denver, in the Denver metro area. The fourth pro I wanna talk about is health. Colorado is a healthy state. They promote a healthy lifestyle in so many different ways. We talk about the outdoor activities and how everybody's outdoor. You get outside and you see just people walk around. We talk about it's a pet friendly state, so you got you watching people walk their dog on the daily. So people are taking them steps to get outside, to be outside, to get active. You have healthier food option. That is a big thing. You know, if you doing the right thing or trying to do the right thing, but you don't have healthy food options, that can be very hard. Definitely if you someone that likes to eat out or you go out with your friends and it could be times where you, you caught up in a bind and you're like, man, I'm not prepared, but I need some healthy options. They do have that here. So if you want to see just how healthy this state is, visit the gyms here. You will see so many different people here in the gym just trying to get their life together, trying to be healthy, trying to do what's right. You know, I'm not gonna lie, the gyms are usually packed here in this area. I have two different memberships and I have to kind of choose what time to go or figure out what time is best because the gyms are packed because you do see people promoting a healthy lifestyle, trying to get it together and trying to do what's right. You can also look at the body composition that's out here. You can tell someone's in shape for the most part by looking at them. You know, do they have a high body fat percentage? Are they obese, overweight? You know, so you can see that for your own eyes. And you, when you, if you come out here and visit, you will see a lot of these people are in shape. They take care of themselves. It shows via their body. So if you're in an active lifestyle, or you're trying to be healthy, already healthy, and you plan on making a move, you want to get, be in an environment that promotes that. Colorado, Denver, Colorado, Definitely is one of those areas, definitely promotes a healthy lifestyle. The fifth pro I'm gonna talk about is how Colorado has some of the friendliest people. I mean, that's a, that is very important. And I think that sometimes we can overlook that or we don't think too much about that. It's like when you come here, you feel welcome. When a lot of people reach out to me, that's one thing they do ask me about is, you know, will I be comfortable here? Where there's, maybe I belong to a certain group of individuals. You know, how do these individuals been individuals get treated out here? You know, and I, like I always tell people, I've never really seen a certain type of group of individuals get treated a certain way or a certain community get treated, as, you know, badly, poorly. You know, for the most part, a lot of other communities support other communities. Here it's like everybody is for each other. They want to see each other grow and prosper. You know, no matter what area you go to, you will have 
a couple bad apples. You know, I'm not saying that it's, you'll never run into no problems. That's that's impossible. You know, you gonna have you have so many different people that you're gonna experience different people. You know, so you're gonna run into some bad apples, but it's very low. The possibility of that is very low compared to certain areas. You know, a lot of people here they they are in the business of helping each other. They want to see you succeed, they want to see you prosper. So they would do what they can to help. They are friendly. They are kind. They are very welcoming. There are some people that's more friendlier than others. There are some people that love to approach other people, have a conversation, get to know different people. You know, if you're one of those people, you would definitely succeed here. Definitely have a good time here because you will never feel like you can't walk up to an individual and and start a conversation. You know, a lot of people here will start conversations with you. You stand in line in the grocery store. You know, maybe you guys see something that caught your eye and y'all. Look to the next. You look to the next person, and you know you guys start a conversation. There's plenty of times where I've got to know someone that in public that I haven't known before, and it's always a great feeling to know that your neighbor has your back. You know who want to live in an area where you gotta watch out for your neighbor. You gotta watch out for the people around you. It, it makes it hard. You know, it's a, it's a tough way of living. I'd rather be in an environment where I know people around me is gonna take care of me, and make sure I'm good. You know, that's if I have, when I have kids, if you have kids, you know you want your children around great individuals. That's going to make sure they are right. That's going to take great care of them when you're not able to at the moment. So when you talk about the individuals here, they're very friendly. Let's jump over to the cons. we got to talk about the bad. Every city, every state have pros and they have cons. So we're not going to leave out the cons. I want you guys to be fully aware of the way of living here in Denver, Colorado. I want you guys to have things to research on your own, things to help you start that research. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the cons. And the first one I want to talk about is traffic. Off the bat, traffic is not, it's not like Atlanta. It's not like San Francisco. It's not like LA. It is not as bad as those cities, but traffic do get bad here. And one of my common themes about Colorado, Denver, Colorado, is that they have bad drivers. So I think the bad driving will lead to the traffic. There's plenty of times where it's traffic on the freeway, but it's not necessarily due to the fact that it's so many different cars. It's more so the, due to the fact that there's gaps between cars. They're leaving huge gaps, they're driving slow. You know, the speed limit might be 65, they're driving 64, 63. Um, and that's somebody that's speeding basically. So when I say traffic and where it's coming from, I would say a lot of it have to do with the bad driving that you see here, leaving gaps in between cars. But you know, you do have your rush hour times, you know, your early mornings, everyone's going to work. So you're going to have traffic or maybe they fixing the road. A lot of times you get on a freeway and they might be fixing the lane. So the lane might be closed. So it's forcing more traffic, but you learn at what time there are traffic, what time, it's clear to go. Um, it's crazy because on Saturdays, a lot of times it's, it's pretty clear. You know, you get on the road on Saturday and there's not that much traffic. So you start to learn when to jump on the highway, when to take certain streets. You will learn that as you start to learn your way around this area. I think it comes a big problem when if you have to be at work at a certain time. You know, if you got to be at work during that morning rush, then it's a problem. You leave in work at the afternoon rush, then it's a problem. But if you learn the times and figure out how to beat those traffic jams and those rush hours, you will be okay. You can, you won't see traffic that much. You also got to keep in mind with a lot of people moving into this area, there's going to be more people on the road, you know? So as this area grow, expect it to be more traffic. The second con is the cost of living. Cost of living is going up. Like I said, a lot of people is moving into this area, you know, supply and demand, higher demand, low supply, pricing going to go up. So, I mean, it's great for the people that's, that are the natives that maybe they own a home already. It's perfect for people like that, you know, because you get see equity in your home, you know, equity is going up, but cost of living your regular items are going up as well with it. In the last decade or so, you see this very upward trend of cost of living going up. I and mean, I, like I said, I, I feel that's to have a lot to do with many of the individuals that's decided to move into this area. It's a great area, great location, great economy. So 
you know, at one point, people was gonna have to learn about it. People was gonna start to to migrate into Denver, into Colorado. It's one of the best kept secrets, you know. The secret is out now. But I've done plenty of videos on individual cities of their cost of living. So definitely check out my channel, my videos to get specific on certain cities. But it's crazy because utilities is not as high as the national average. So you have certain bills or certain things um, that is not as high as the national average, but you have housing that's above the national average. So it's across the board, cost of living is higher, but you could find different categories that's actually a little bit cheaper. It won't necessarily balance out, but it can kind of offset some things. You know, you can get certain things a little bit cheaper than you can in certain areas. Um, and then when I say cost of living, you know, how what is compared to? It's not compared to the San Francisco, it's not compared to the New York's. It's not that high, you know, but it's, it's higher than a lot of other cities and states. You know, you're coming from Texas, expect a spike in cost of living for, for my Texans. You coming from California, it might be similar or it might be less than what you're used to. So depending on what state you come from, always gonna determine where does the cost of living fit for you? Meaning, does it is it higher than what you're used to or is it lower than what you're used to? But the great thing about the Denver metro area is there's so many different areas and pockets that can, that you can live in. You can find an area that fits you, that best fits you, that has everything you're looking for, that's more maybe more affordable, that's more around your price range. If you're looking for luxury, style of living you can find a luxury style of living if you're looking for something that's like okay i'm not there yet let me work my way up you can find that so that's the great thing about the Denver metro area it's not just an area where it's just where everything is just super expensive you know you have a place to live where you can grow and you can then move on up the third con i want to talk about is the weather and when i talk about the weather i this is mostly talking about the weather in the summer um, all right, from May, April, and finishing out the summer. The weather is very bipolar. And when I say bipolar, I really, really mean that. I mean, during the summer, you can get 80, 90 degree weather, night come. You're talking hailstorms, wind storms, you know, thunder and lightning. So the weather can change drastically in within that one day. I mean, even in the winter, you can have snow in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, a little can be a little, you know, a little hot. You got to take off your coat, your jacket. So the thing about Colorado, you have to be prepared for whatever the weather decides it wants to be. It can be hot one moment, cold the next. It can be cold one moment, hot the next. So I always encourage individuals that's coming out to visit to be prepared for everything. You know, when my family members come out to visit, I tell them, bring a jacket, bring sweats, bring shorts, bring pants, bring long sleeve, bring short sleeve, bring everything. Because i Honestly, I don't know what the weather is going to be. It, you can look on the on the forecast and it could be 80s and 90s, but that doesn't mean it's not going to rain and rain hard, you know, at least once or twice out those out those times. The summers are hard. It's, the summers are it's very hard to predict just because you're going from the heat to sometimes to these hailstorms. And it's like, man, you, you was in a short sleeve. You didn't have a jacket. You didn't have. You don't got a jacket nowhere in sight. You wasn't expected to be bringing a jacket. So I think the summers to me is more, is more taxing. The weather is more bipolar. You know, as the winter, like I said, it snow in the morning, in sunshine in the afternoon. But it's like you was kind of prepared for the cold. So you might have extra layers. You could then take off those extra layers and then be okay. It's a little bit of, and it's kind of hot, but you good. So let's jump into the fourth con. The fourth con is the homelessness is going up. It's definitely going up. Um, and it's something you, we have seen since the pandemic with a lot of people losing their jobs and, you know, trying to figure out life and losing their residence and don't know where to go. You see a lot of people now out on the street. You see them tents that you, that you usually will see in California. They are now out here in Colorado. You know, you go downtown, you will see the tents down on certain streets, you see a lot of people hanging out. You see a lot of people on the corners asking for money, begging for money. You see people under overpath. That is now coming to Colorado and it has now hit Colorado. And I personally think that has a lot to do with the pandemic, not having that income coming in. Before the pandemic, you really didn't see, you didn't see it that bad. 
he didn't see it in multiple different areas. You know, you kind of you knew what area to go to if you wanted to see the homelessness. You want to see the home, homeless population. But now it's it's, it's kind of spread out to multiple areas. And I feel if you live close to like a light rail, like the train, you will see a lot of homelessness in that area, in those areas, because you see a lot of people, homeless people jumping on the trains and getting off to these certain areas. It's easy, easy commute for them to get back and forth to the areas that's close to the light rail. Hopefully as things get better, we kind of recover from the pandemic, job opportunities start to you know, come more about and, and we move into the right directions. This is something that can kind of get cleaned up. People can find a place to live and find a place to go. But right now, it is something that I feel is, is kind of new here to this extreme. It's kind of new, but it's something we can't overlook. Something you can't just bypass. You've definitely seen it here in Colorado. There you have it. If you guys planning to live in Colorado, Denver, Colorado, I just gave you guys some pros as well as some cons so you can get it great feel for this city in this area so you can decide if this is a place that you want to be hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions in regard to real estate in the Denver and greater area if you're looking to buy or sell a property in this area please utilize the number below once again i'm lorraine king